My name's Daniel Ballard, and I'm here with ANA Tools today to show you their gold testing kit. Because this kit involves the use of acid and a small scratch tone, I've got some latex gloves on. Let's see what's in the kit. We have the various solutions that we'll need, possibly to test for platinum, 22 karat gold, 18 karat gold, 14 karat gold, and even 10 karat gold, and should it ever be necessary, silver. Here's some easy to use instructions, but today of course we'll be using the video. The stone, basically a black slate stone, slightly coarse, not completely unlike a knife sharpening stone. Because we have a variety of acids to use, we won't be needing the little testing needles shown here. What I have in front of me is a white ring, not sure what metal it is, but I'm going to put a scratch test on here so we can test it for a couple of different materials. Once, twice, three times, four times, five times. Because this is a white metal, someone might be thinking it's platinum. So we'll get the platinum solution out. Carefully take the cap off. Just put a drop one of the traces and we'll see what the reactions like cap back on and we can see that trace dissolved so we know it's not platinum let's see if because of its color I know it won't be 22 karat gold there is no 22 karat white gold let's see if it might be 18 karat gold Again, we put the cap carefully back on, and we see that trace also has dissolved. Next, let's see if it might be 14 karat gold. And it dissolves immediately. We've gotten just a little dust from the inside of the box. It's not important. Let's see if it's 10 karat gold. and we'll give it a couple of minutes and we can see now that that trace also has dissolved our conclusion this ring is not gold not platinum I've got a ring I'm not sure what it is I can tell it's yellow but I don't know if it's plated or if it's gold or if it's brass and I'm making no assumptions about what the carrot might be either if it is gold because it's yellow we know it's not platinum so we'll dispense with that test right off the top but let's start at the highest value 22 carat immediately dissolved it's not 22 carat it's lower let's see about 18 carat disappeared immediately now you can see I almost made the mistake of getting into the other scratch next to it. So I gotta be just a little careful with the handling here. I'm gonna get the drop right on the spot. Let's see if it's 14 karat. Again, got an immediate dissolve. Let's see about 10 karat. Okay. Even though those acids accidentally mix just a little bit, we can see that line isn't really looking to dissolve. But I'm going to retest. When in doubt, check again. One more scratch. Go straight to the 10 carat. Put a drop on there. I'm confident that this gold is at least 10 carat. We see it's not dissolving. So, if I were to buy this as scrap, I would buy it as 10 carat, not as 14 carat. Now, this is not a test that's accurate enough to be checking your suppliers. This is really just for buying gold over the counter.